You might have to let him talk for a bit, actually. Now, it's totally fine to dislike any scene in this film, but let's talk about why this is not an objective criticism. Okay. It's partly because most people do not know what a Y-Wing is. That is not a no! reason okay, for it to okay, not okay, be. Okay, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, first off, face. Everyone knows what a fucking Y wing is. Anyone that's watched Star Wars knows what a fucking Y wing is. It's been here since the first movie released forty years ago. Don't tell me that people don't know what a Y wing is. What's a what Y wing? How could you possibly okay. make that argument? Everyone knows what it is. It's been in every game. It's been in every movie. Okay, maybe not every movie. Maybe not every game. But most games and most movies. This is so stupid. How could you possibly make this argument, you idiot? Everyone knows what it is. Yeah, but so, the fact that some people don't mean it's mean. It's so, no! I need to. No, no. Just, <laughs> like, just because you're an idiot, just because you're a retard that doesn't know anything about Star Wars does not mean that that claim is accurate. It is not accurate. It is the exact definition of inaccurate. Here's the thing. If it shows several shots in the very first Star Wars movie ever released of Y-Wings, then logic goes, people know what a Y-Wing is because we've seen it in action before. Doesn't even, we don't even need Y-Wings to exist for the Bombers so, to be terrible. We don't even oh need why we also, also, oh my know. god. Well, I, well this is the dumbest man on the internet. All okay, respect so, for you that I ever had at, in the past. Gone. Completely. So, You're dumb. So I, I, I would like to, to uh, try to address something here. Let's say that there's someone that has only seen Star Wars, uh, like just The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, so they are unaware of what a Y-Wing is, because a Y-Wing is not in either of those two movies. The point is, so... Uh, I'm not much of a Harry Potter fan, and um, the latest prequel film, Fantastic Beasts 2, shows a fully grown uh, Minerva McGonagall at Hogwarts several years before her uh, confirmed birth date uh, at, that was detailed in the books. So that's a massive contradiction, but I wouldn't have caught it myself just because I didn't uh, remember that particular detail. It still is a problem, though, even if I personally well, uh, was unaware of that. fucking disappearing knife, dude. Most, if not, like, 90% of the audience did not know that a knife disappeared during the fight. Yeah. Can I raise, just quickly as well, what the hell does this have to do with anything he was saying before? I don't know. This is why <laughs> I suggested... To say that it's, I suggested we don't stop, but he did objective. make a point. Like this is a this is he's a singular trying, point here. Yeah. Well, he's he, he's doing the same point. bullshit. He's doing the same bullshit that he did with you guys in your debate, where he said that well, there could be one person out there that <laughs> actually unironically likes the room, and therefore it's not objectively bad. Also, Look. let me add to this. Let me add to this rant I'm going on. Go just ahead. Because just because other people don't know what a Y wing is does not give you uh, an excuse. To not put in a Y-Wing when they are an established thing in the Star Wars universe over this slow piece of shit bomber. Hey, we could just, just because other people don't know about it does not mean that that's an excuse, you f moron. We could just have, like, you go to see this film and it just plays just Lord of the right. Rings. Just write. Never write anything. Never write anything. I swear to God, if you write anything, I might actually kill myself. I mean, I'm probably going to do that anyway, but you'll just make me do it quicker. Just no, right. You'll you'll what a you'll come back. Thing to say. Absolute dumbest back. thing I have ever heard on EFAP. Unironically, you, you will come back to life just to kill yourself a second time. Yes. Be Wolf the White. Yeah. Well, I've never heard of EFAP, so him saying that isn't a problem. Oh my um, god. So like, yeah. What I was gonna, I was like, <laughs> if this is truly based <coughs> on memory. We just have anything in Star Wars Episode Nine. Like it could just be Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers, and someone's like, "Where's Luke?" And then Ryan Johnson's like, "Luke, Luke who?" Like Luke, Luke Skywalker. And he's like, "No, I don't. I don't. Who's that?" You're like, "Oh, he's, oh, uh, okay." Yep, and then most of the close. audience are like, "No, I don't remember any Luke. This film's great." <laughs> okay. If you look closely, Barney the dinosaur was piloting one of the bombers. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I and mean, I'd watch it. It's I don't not know. A <laughs> in this film, but let's talk about why this is not an objective criticism. It's Ugh. partly because most people do not know what a Y wing is, and even fewer objectively know what quantified that you dumb. Is. So to even make this wait, critique, did, you wait, hold on. Didn't he say most people don't know what a Y wing is? Most people, even fewer know. Wow, I didn't purpose. even notice that one word. Shit. 
Ooh. For him to say that some people don't know, that's one thing. Most people, though, bullshit. And even fewer of them know of its military purpose, I'll have you know. <laughs> oh, well. I guess that's how it works. This is not well, an it's definitely high. Criticism. Dude, I wish I was high. <laughs> yeah, this is Do not high, understand? Wolf. This is Pizza Wolf. No, this is sober, and I really wish I wasn't. Because if I was high, I would think that I'm not watching a real video. Wolf, what is it with you? Like, whenever I'm in a call with you, you go on these, like, ab <laughs> absurdly passionate rages. <laughs> I don't know, you just bring out the worst in me, Southpaw. Partly because most people do not know what a Y-Wing is, and even fewer know what its military purpose is, so to even make this critique, you have to have a certain knowledge of the- <laughs> You have to have watched the other to films. <laughs> you have to have watched that? a single Star Wars movie. Congratulations. Wait, so you mean to tell me that in order to criticize something, you need to be able- you need to have something of an understanding of it? This is Apparently. a bad thing. Why? If you're going to argue to me that the, the films that come before it and the line of it being a sequel are irrelevant when you critique it because people might have forgotten, then when we talk about Act 3, we don't need to consider Act 1 and 2. People might have forgotten about it by then. When I watch this video, I can't help but just go, why the f*** does the art object even matter just right? Why can't we just sit here interpreting? Like, thinking about, like, TLJ came out, I didn't go and see it, but I have my interpretation on it. And I have my assessment on it from that. It's about space Christians. And I'm right, because... Mm -hmm. Someone said, it's over, Anakin. I have the amnesia ground. Amnesia <laughs> ground. Hey, you know, maybe uh, he should have gone with the uh, Ren's Reviews approach. He could have just said, they never do show Y-Wings in the previous films. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of like how to how to gedelb this statement. It's like it's not valid if you don't remember it. It's like it's it's so absurd. Maybe, to me. Do we have to rewind it? We can rewind it. It's insane it that he was Wolf. showing Rogue One footage, the movie that came out right before the Last Jedi, <laughs> the year before. The absurdity of the idea that it's a bad thing that you need like a certain level of familiarity with a subject in order to analyze and critique it. He's, a, he's an interesting man, this this just right. You know, he's I'm starting to think ass. he might not just be right. That name, you know. This is why people don't like game journalists, because they're well, bad at games and review games anyway. Mahler, can you add to your Gedelb notes um, the, the thing where most people don't know what a Y-Wing is? I feel like that, that belongs well, on there. No, I want to go so more obvious. Most people don't know what... Um, what a sofa is. Don't know what like, a... a <laughs> Planet is <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? What a person is. <laughs> what a, most what people a, don't what know a, what a people is. Most people don't know what a mask making laptop is. <laughs> I think I do have quotes from Red Reviews to go into the next Eve. I remember now. You are expected to remember multiple faces, several <laughs> names. You're also expected to remember multiple well, imagine, star fighters. In imagine star this Wars. criticism of EFAP, the amount of memes you got to remember. Yeah. I can't believe I was about to resubscribe to this guy at some point. Well, good maybe lord. Don't do that. Lord. Well, yeah, this, this killed any chance that that ever happened. <laughs> A Y wing is, and even fewer know what its military purpose is. So, to even make this, what you have to have a certain knowledge of the lore. But on top of that, you have to be the lore, they don't know what the lore. purpose is. It's a bomber, most yeah, people know that it's a bomber. <laughs> I don't think it plays that pop for me. I'm, I'm overdosing on stupid right now. You have to have a certain knowledge. I'd like to overdose right lore. now. But on top of that, you have to overdose on just right. To believe that adhering to the lore established in other films is more important than the immediate impact of the scene. So you have to establish that, that adhering to the lore is more something than, than impa the impact of the scene. The implication being that they're dichotomous. Yeah, you can't, you the can't, idea you, that you can't just have both. Yeah, which is he says. He says you need way. like a. He says that you need a certain knowledge of the lore, as though this is like <laughs> a, a Y wing is equivalent to understanding who Morgoth was in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, what a stupid f 
person you are. You are actually the dumbest YouTuber I might have seen so far. Like, I, I'm not expecting the average Star Wars viewer to understand everything about, like, Mandalore, but Y-Wings? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of obvious well, I mean, what their purpose is. You see them in the original trilogy. They're not too far away from X-Wings, like, in terms of what people should recognize. And if you could argue to me, yeah, most people don't know what an X-Wing is, I'd be like, well, they're, what are they watching at that point? Aren't there Y-Wings on the, the, the attack on the Death Star in the first film? Yes. Hmm. So, the whole, I'm pretty uh, sure I can one find the you the shot of it. Yeah, one of the teams is entirely Y-Wings. Yeah. And even if it wasn't in the first movie, it's still in Return of the Jedi. Is Why he... is Wolf so autistic today? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, maybe it's because I'm watching a moron tell me that nobody knows what a Y-Wing is in Star Wars. The immediate impact of the scene. The fact that the bombers are big and slow is a nonverbal way of communicating an idea to the audience. It justifies in our mind why the ships are destroyed so easily. Whichever side of the yeah, as if there's no other way to justify why a ship mm. would be destroyed. Mm. You see the problem just right. You are, this is post talk. He takes everything that happens in the scene and then justifies it as it had to be this way, to be this way. Like you want these results, you can get them yeah. many ways. This story would not have happened, though, if the Resistance weren't all f***ing idiots that I really, I really to am getting these... tired of people actually unironically making the argument that I need my characters to be retarded, otherwise I don't have a story. <laughs> we need these bombers because it's non-verbal communication <laughs> that... The Dreadnought doesn't have shields, by the way. It's How did this guy make communication like, that... Yeah. I mean, I would still argue, even despite this video, that Just Right has some of, if not the best videos on The Hobbit on all of YouTube. How the f*** did you go from that to this? Well, what is remember, wrong with you? <laughs> did you get evolved? Like, were, you, were you, like, dropped on your head when you were 20 or something? <laughs> I can picture him, like, it is in someone's arms getting fed milk and they drop it. <laughs> Did you like, evolved as happened? a philosopher? Well, how did how did you go from a good YouTuber to a f moron? Didn't we ask him that in the debate? Like, what if his Hobbit videos led to people disliking it? And he was like, "That would be bad." I, I think he like concludes yeah, he, he that said would be something a bad to thing. the effect of like, "Man, I think it would be bad if my Hobbit videos that are really good led people to disliking it, even though the Hobbit movies are f garbage." Really God can't damn. understand that position. Show some like, f balls, you sackless little pussy. Don't make a whole series of Hobbit videos shitting on them and then say that you f would feel like a bad person if you got someone to dislike them. That's the whole point, you idiot. It justifies in our mind why the ships are destroyed so easily. Whichever side of the argument you land on, it's simply a personal preference, and no. it's based on a bunch of beliefs about which aspects of a story are more important than others. Wait, but we you, you say that as if it supports the idea that Y-Wings shouldn't be there or something, or that that isn't an actual, like, criticism to be presented and acknowledged. He's just like, well, you know, you need, you need we, we wanted this to happen this way, so is that really more important than Y-Wings being there? It's like, this we, we, video is, it's predicated on, like, this really weird, like, it's it's not overtly stated, but it's, it's implicit in the video, is that this really weird idea that this the piece of art could only ever have been one way. Well, Patrick Willem said about Holdo, like if Holdo it, wasn't it, retarded, we wouldn't get our story. Yeah, well, the, the film could not have been made in another way. You, I will, like you said earlier, those two things are dichotomous: adhering to the law or the emotional stakes of the scene. I, you I have to have this. one or the other. You can't have both with a different setup. What a sad way to look at it. You definitely yeah. can't have the visual of, of Paige Tico kicking the ladder to get the detonator to fall down. You wouldn't get that in a Y-Wing because that wouldn't be logistically possible in the Y-Wing and there would be no reason for that to happen well, in a Y-Wing because Y-Wings are not designed terribly like these terrible, stupid bombers are. But um, the scene itself where you're having these bombers get obliterated in this bombing run, yes, it could still happen if you replace them with Y-Wings and they functioned the same way as they functioned in the previous movies. You still could have had the, the purpose that this scene plays into the story play out exactly the same way, just in a less retarded way. I don't buy the, you have to have everyone in your story be retarded in order for this to happen. No. Yeah, the, if you need says, a sacrifice uh, moment, you can make it happen. That isn't the exact same way, but in the same spirit. No, but you have to understand, TLG, TLJ could only have ever been like this. 
it could not have been at all different from what it is, apparently. Is TLG like the last yeah, TLG? Game? The last, the last guard, guardian. guardian. <laughs> the last gay. That's the one. Hello, you just listened to a segment of the podcast Every Frame of Pause, or EFAP, hosted by YouTubers Mauler, Rags, and Fringy, and joined by a cycling variety of guests across the internet. They critically analyze media with exhaustive detail while pausing at every single frame. Subscribe to the EFAP channel and catch new episodes on Saturdays, as well as catch their smaller videos reacting to the latest and not-so-greatest movies and TV shows throughout the week. You can also subscribe here to EFAP highlights for the latest shorts, clips, and supercuts also up Uploaded throughout the week. Links to all the relevant channels can be found in the description section below, as well as links to their communities on Reddit and Discord. Thanks for watching.